welcome Caveman Reviewers and today we've got one question to answer which is how do you drink moonshine? That's right, everyone's seen it, everyone knows about it, crikey, even when I was a kid when the Dukes of Hazard around and the good old boys were actually bootlegging the stuff across the county lines, everyone thought moonshine was the bad stuff. But do you know what? It's all changed. And the reason it's changed is because it's out there in force. And I've managed to get hold of a bottle of the stuff. Now this is Amos Owens Moonshine. And it says it's brewed in the UK. So we like the sound of it already. Now it's a brand new bottle. And my intention is, is to open this, try a few sips, tell you what it's like, and ultimately tell you how you can drink it. So, should we might as well get started? <laughs> Ready? Ooh. Wow, that smells good. Now, before we get started, this is Amos Owens Moonshine Cherry Bounce. It says it's a 38% volume with 76 proof. I don't know what that means. All I know is, is it's probably just as strong as your regular vodka. And, ooh. Oh, I tell you what, that smells amazing. It really does. But you're not interested in the smell, you want to know how it tastes, and quite frankly, so do I. Let's not hang around, shall we? Let's find out what it tastes like and eat. Now, when I bought this, interesting fact, I was chatting to the, the bloke that sold this to me, and I asked him, what is it supposed to be? Moonshine. And he said it's funny, actually. He would describe it as something as a mixture between vodka and rum. Now, as you know, I love rum because I've already done loads of reviews on rum. That's another story. All right, let's start off with a neat taste of Amos Owens Moonshine Cherry. Now, it really does smell quite unique. It's, it's really, the, the cherry smell comes through, but ultimately behind it as well, you get that sense of the alcoholic whiff, if you like, as you would like a really nice vodka. Anyway, enough of the talking, let's taste it. That is surprisingly smooth. It does have the aftertaste of all the alcoholic drinks you would ever try and eat, like vodka, like rum and everything else. But do you know what? That's actually really nice. There's not even an aftertaste that I would describe as as, as anything really. It's there in your mouth, the, the slight burning sensation that you would get from any other alcoholic drink when you drink it. But that's actually really nice, that's quite smooth. I like that. Oh, good. However, most people aren't gonna drink it neat. They're gonna be drinking it with mixers and that's why this lot's over here. So, Shall we try it with a mixer? First of all, <laughs> let's top up. All right, so let's start with the normal and everyone goes with the Coke. Vodka and Coke, rum and Coke, that's my favorite rum and Coke. However, this might cause a bit of a stir. I actually prefer Pepsi to Coke. Yeah, we're not gonna start that debate, at least not tonight anyway. Now. One down. Cheers. Still smells good. Oh. oh, that's really nice. With the cherry from the moonshine, with the Coke, that really hits the spot. And I think I might need a second opinion. One sec, I'm just about to get the thumbs up or the thumbs down. She's going back for a second sip. She's third, oh, whoa! I think she likes it, it's a third sip in a row. How is it? There's a nod, yeah, she likes that one. Right, <clears throat> this is not gonna be a long video, otherwise I'm gonna be falling off this stool. Let's get on with the second one, shall we? How else would you drink your moonshine? All right. 
Should we try it with tonic? Should go with the tonic. It's like, it's like a vodka and tonic. And in case you're interested, this is Marks and Spencer's tonic. Just a regular old tonic water. I like Marks and Spencer's, but that's another story. Make sure you don't drown it. So just like everything else, you can get your mixers right with your alcohol. So tonic. It's still got that really unique smell behind it. It's quite... I can't describe it, I'm trying to place it, but it is really quite pleasant. And I know this is cherry flavor, but it's the moonshine smell behind. It's it's almost like a sweet smell. And I know, as I say, the cherry, but it's, it's, it's quite nice. Anyway, enough of that, let's try it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can really taste the moonshine through that tonic. It's actually really nice. Yeah, I like that. Right, let me just leave this here because I've got a funny feeling there might be a second taste test coming up any second from the person behind the camera. So, so far we've done neat. We've done with Pepsi Max and we've also done it with tonic water. We've got one more to go, which is the lemonade. And we're gonna move on to that as soon as I get the review from our other person with the tonic. Ready? I'm checking with the tonic. No, tongue out, no, 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 not the tonic. We didn't like the tonic flavor. That's obviously clearly not the one for it to happen. Well, we can't win them all. But what we do now need to try is with the lemonade, because everyone has lemonade with some sort of mixer, don't they? No. Ooh, that was good. <laughs> Definitely gonna be falling off my chair. Let's try it with the lemonade, shall we? Another single measure. I think we ought to put the lid on this before um, it starts evaporating because it's already evaporated quite a bit out the bowl. <laughs> right, lemonade, here we go. Make sure we got the mixer correct. I reckon somewhere about there. Let's try it. Smells good. Okay, let's try it. Oh, do you know what? That's even smoother. That's really nice. That's almost drinking like a, a cream soda, I would describe it as. Cherry flavor, lemonade, and moonshine. I mean, that's a lovely combination. Really, really smooth. Oh, yeah. Do you know what? Out of all of it, I think that's the winner. I think it's with lemonade for me. Let me get my second opinion. One sec. Oh, that was a nod, huge smile, and there's already going in for the second, now the third sip. I think that's a winner as well. Anyway, let's get back to this. This is the Amos Owens Moonshine. How you drink it, just like any other liquor that you'd buy, vodka, rum, you get some good big mixers, make sure you get the right percentage going, and you're away. And I'll tell you what, I'm not even gonna think there's gonna be much left in this bottle by the end of tonight, but uh, you won't be seeing the aftermath of the hangover. Cheers, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please click like and share and subscribe to this channel. Until the next one, take care.